Nice work, Lin. You fought well. You did too. Now let's get down to business and install that data probe. If we stay here for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. This beam of light indicates a frontier nav site. It marks the ideal spot to bury the probe. Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. I'll just boot it up. Thanks, Lynn. The top half of the cylinder contains the probe itself. The bottom half is a laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damaging the goods. Burying them is going to save us all a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. complete. We are now online with a solid connection to Frontier Nav. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. The hardest part was calculating the ideal probe locations. We need them spread out evenly to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi.